When George Whiteside wants to show he's a true space nerd, he tells people he went to space camp. It was one of the most exciting weeks of my life, George said. I was commander of my 24-hour mission and I met other people I had a really strong connection with. I wasn't necessarily a cool guy in high school, but I felt like a cool guy at space camp. Space camp didn't stick right away though. When George headed to Princeton a couple of years after space camp, he was interested in government and policy. He toyed with becoming a lawyer and he liked photography. But whenever I thought about space, I felt a hunger in my gut, George said. That hunger took him to the Space Generation Forum in Vienna, Austria, where he would meet his future wife, Loretta Hidalgo, who was also a space camp graduate. At that gathering of young space advocates, the two hatched what Loretta kind of considers their first child, Yuri's Night. It was a time when there was a lot of push to make space officious and scientific, Loretta said. It took a lot of fun out of it. George headed back to England to continue working on a master's degree from Cambridge University. But the two kept planning for the first Yuri's Night, a party to celebrate the anniversary of the first human in space. Yuri's Night is a global grassroots celebration of space taking place in 28 countries and 65 cities all on the same Earth night. Yuri's Night has grown into a grassroots global celebration that brings people together to dance and dream. Working together on Yuri's Night cemented their relationship and a space-themed wedding followed. The Whitesides now have two children, George and Maya, who know all about space, their mom said. The Whitesides also have their own dreams of space travel. In 2005, they became founder astronauts when they were among the first 100 to buy tickets for Sir Richard Branson's promise to take ordinary citizens into space. George is now CEO of Virgin Galactic and the spaceship company, working with Branson to make commercial spaceflight a reality. It's his commitment to humanity, Loretta said of her husband's work. If he could, he would fly all the world's leaders into space and let them look down on Earth. They would see there are no borders. We don't have divisions, she said. They'll also see a fragile jewel that needs all our care. Leaving Earth on a spaceship is one of the most crucial things we can do for the long-time future of a healthy planet, George said. It's that kind of commitment that makes George a great example, his friend, Dr. Peter Diamandis said. And a space camp represents the dreams in all of us born from the 60s through today to go and explore space. George exemplifies a rocket ride of a person who's been passionate about space since their childhood and has driven them across the entire industry from nonprofits, being executive director of the National Space Society to government, being the chief of staff uh, for the NASA administrator to being CEO of Virgin Galactic. I mean, you don't get a chance to do more powerful and important things in the space industry than George has. George, when my kids go to space camp, I want them to look up to you as the example of what they can achieve.